Hi patrons. Well, <clears throat> you know who I am, Mike Bellevue, and I'm out at Duelist End today, but today was not a shooting day, today was a work day. So those of you who spend much time in the forest know that a clearing is not natural to the forest, right? And Duelist Den, the range part anyway, is a clearing in the forest. So today I've been cutting down limbs, filling holes with crushed rock, cutting trails, checking trail cams, mowing down all of the vegetation to keep my driveways open, my parking areas open. So this is what I've been doing instead of shooting. And I've been out here for about six hours now working on it. But now I'm done, and uh, I thought I would share a little bit of shooting with you before I go. So, I bought this Thompson Center Hawken quite a while ago, and by quite a while, I mean like six months ago, because I needed it for a photo prop. I was doing an article on uh, the guns used in Mountain Man movies, and I needed a Thompson Center to photograph. So, I got this cheap online, and it was cheap because it had some issues. It had no ramrod, had no no uh, wedge, and the bore was a little rusty. So I made a new ramrod, fitted it with a wedge, cleaned the bore, but when I pulled the nipple, the the nipple was rust welded in. It was solid rust. That's pretty awful. In fact, the flash hole in the nipple itself was completely rusted closed for the whole length. I, I ended up taking a 1 16th inch drill and a hand powered drill and, and I drilled it out to make a new flash hole. In fact, I've ordered a new nipple, but it's coming in on slow boat from China. But uh, I drilled that out. I had to retap the bolster of course, the bolster in here, the threads were all rusted. It's just awful. So, what I'm going to do now is just function test it. Uh, I just want to see if it fires. And I'll worry about accuracy later. I may have to rebarrel this thing, but I just want to see if the nipple stays in, if the threads were strong enough with the rust out of them to hold it. So, you guys are going to get to see uh, the resurrection of a Thompson Center. So stand by. Well, I'm going to shoot at Steel Steve down there. Steel Steve is my uh, full-size IPSC target. I'm loaded up with 75 grains of 3F Go-X powder and a uh, 490 round ball pillow ticking patch. And I'm using a Remington number 10 cap. So we'll see how it goes. Surprisingly, <laughs> looked like I drilled them pretty good. Well, I was only going to shoot the Thompson Center once, but it did something last time that kind of surprised me. And I wanted to see if it did it again. What it did is it blew the hammer back to full cock when it fired. And that's probably because I had to drill the flash hole on the uh, nipple bigger than the original flash hole would be and all the way through with the same diameter. Uh, which is probably letting more back charge up than uh, than you'd usually get. So I want to see if that's the case again. Uh, I, like I say, I have a new nipple coming in, which I think will cure that, because at least the nipple's staying in place, it's not blowing out, and that's a good sign. The, the barrel is very rough, though. So let's shoot it again, see what happens. Well, I'll tell you what, it is grouping, that's for sure. And look what it did. Blew it right back to full cock again. So, we'll have to see what the new nipple does, but uh, well, the gun goes off. It's a nice light gun. Might make a good foul weather deer rifle for me. <laughs> 